Thank you much. Uh, I, I get up here every week and I write down what I'm, what I'm going to talk about while I'm at the bar drinking. And then I come up here and say it. Uh, if you want to see what happened the weeks before, catch me on YouTube at Willie Sawyer II or the AQ Observer. For now, let's talk about last week. I was, I was watching TV and uh, you guys know those commercials where the, uh, the medicine comes on and you see that if you've taken this medicine and you've had all these side effects, you are entitled to money. You know what I'm talking about? It's like yeah. if you've had anal leakage and uh, burning uh, leakage and all kind of other stuff. <laughs> So I saw this commercial the other night. My wife is in the other room, and it was a shoe commercial. It was a shoe, for real, it was Skechers. And it was like, have you worn this shoe? Have you suffered from, a t uh, from a torn ligaments and uh, a hyperextended knee and hammer toe? And I'm like, oh my God, I have a shoe with side effects. And I called my wife, and honey, they got a shoe with side effects, you know? And the list just kept going, like ingrown toenail and athlete's foot and coax interrupt this. And I was like, it's to make you stop fucking, you know? I was, <laughs> I said, honey, it make you stop fucking. Yeah. She said, what? I said, it's coax interrupted. She said, what's that? We said, will you stop fucking? Yeah. True story, the shoes have side effects. And you are entitled to money if you've had these problems with these shoes, which is really fucked up because I really thought that this is not the best that our Asian children can do, you know? <laughs> Come on now, you know, some of our best stuff comes from sweatshops, you know? Look how well Nike is put together, you know? This is not... <laughs> that's wrong, that's wrong. I don't, I don't agree with putting kids in a sweatshop, but I, I, if they torture kids, I might get behind that, you know? No, no, hear me out. <laughs> no, no, hear me out, hear me out now. See, I had two children. I have an 11 year old daughter. Now he's like, yeah, I believe it too now. I have an 11 year old daughter and a 13 year old son. And, uh, you know, after 13, 11 years of it, I didn't do it, it's not me. No, I didn't do it. I don't know what happened. You know, out of all of I'm tired of that shit. Somebody gonna tell me what the fuck happened. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I'm, not this time. I'm, somebody gonna tell me what happened to my lap. Honey, give me. The, uh, uh, give me a fucking towel and a bucket of water. We gonna find out <laughs> what happened in my lap. <laughs> uh, and kids say wild stuff, you know, like my daughter, my, my wife came home from work, she works with children, she's a teacher, and my daughter said, Mommy, you got some sparkly stuff on your face. And my wife said, it's glitter. I was working with the kids, it's glitter. It's making mommy beautiful. My daughter said, no, it's just you with sparkly stuff. It's <laughs> <Wow. laughs> hurtful. My wife always tells me, I, I, when, I come, when I come up here, I always record everything and I go home and I show her. And she says, you know, you left that part out, you left this out. So, one of my favorite stories, and her favorite story, I always leave a part out, she gets mad about it. So I'm going to tell it again, and I'm going to put all of her favorite parts into it. I was coming home from, uh, I was, no, I wasn't coming from work, that's another story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> got to start drinking. You got a job? <laughs> I was on my way. Yeah, I was like, I got a job. It's not a good one, that's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I was with my wife and kids, and we were going to the comic book convention. Surprise, right? Uh, and uh, we were doing maybe, uh, I was doing exactly 34 miles an hour, trying to rush. Because I saw the police when I passed them, and it was a 30 mile hour zone. And he pulled me over. And uh, he walked up to the car, and he said, you know, I pulled you over. And my daughter was five and time. She said, ooh, ooh, I, ooh. <laughs> Is it because we're black? <laughs> And the cop was like, sir, just, just go. I don't, sir, just enjoy your day. And I don't know if he was mad or shocked that she got on the first try. I don't know what it was. And he let us go. And we, we get a little further, we can pull it off. And my, my daughter said, daddy, daddy, did I get it right? <laughs> yeah, baby, you got it right. <laughs> it's bad when you feel bad about telling somebody they're right. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> I hate racial problems, you know, because I'm mixed, so I can't be racist, you know. I'm, I'm, my, I'm part white, part black, part Native American. What am I going to do, hate myself? <laughs> be mad at my people for enslaving my people and stealing my people's land? That's too much hate. <laughs> One person be messing around with it, too much hate. <laughs> I don't know, why, be, why, why hate somebody for the color of their skin? If you get to know them, they give you so many other reasons to hate them, you know? Just take your time. I have an Indian friend. I'm talking dots, not feathers. And, uh, what? <laughs> what I say? <laughs> but, uh, 
His evidently friend, his his wife, I can't stand her. I, she's, I can't stand her ass, you know? So what I do is I pretend that that guy on her forehead is a sniper aiming for her. And it gets me <laughs> through the visit, you know? <laughs> It's, 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 it's good being mixed because you pass for all different kind of races, and it's bad being mixed because you pass for all different kind of races. <laughs> you know, that's, you know, like, I see a couple in the back trying to make some mixed kids. You, your kids gonna look like me, Puerto Rican. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's when I walk in the room, people look like, what the hell is a Puerto Rican doing in Minnesota? It's a, it's a shock. <laughs> But it's, it's, it's hard being mixed, you know, when you're different races, because you're like, I, I, don't, I go to the airport, I just take my shoes when I walk in the airport, and I just take them off right there. Because I know I'm getting searched. I look like everybody, you know? If they're looking for uh, a Mexican, I'm getting searched. If they're looking for an Assyrian, I'm getting searched. Looking for an Afghani, I'm, looking, I'm getting searched. If they're looking for Indian dots and feathers, I'm getting searched. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck around with them, I don't know. Uh, I think my time is about up. I gotta get out of here so I better come up with something to say before I go. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, uh, actually, I just uh, I tell one of my, my favorite stories about my son. And my son, he uh, he's, he's in school. And he came home from school. He's crying. I said, son, what are you crying for? He said, Daddy, the, the kids at school they, they keep calling me gay. He said, son, that's nothing to cry about. The kids are always going to talk about you all your life. They talk about Obama all the time. You know, they're going to talk about you. But crying about it is kind of gay, though. <laughs> it really it is. And he ran to my wife crying, Daddy called me a snitch. He, he, no, Daddy called, fuck that up, didn't I? <laughs> he ran to my wife crying, Daddy called me gay. I said, yeah, you a snitch, too. <laughs> you a gay-ass snitch. That's what you are. I fucked it up in the steel work. I'm happy now. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. Thank you guys much. Enjoy your night.